Converting common units of linear measure, units of mass measure, units of capacity measure. Word problems are mathematical puzzles disguised in everyday scenarios. They challenge us to apply our mathematical knowledge and problem-solving skills to real-life situations. From calculating the total cost of groceries to determining the time it takes for a train to reach its destination, word problems come in various forms and cover a wide range of mathematical concepts. In this guide, we'll explore strategies for dissecting word problems, identifying key information, setting up equations, and ultimately finding solutions. As student honing your math skills, mastering the art of solving word problems can unlock a world of problem-solving prowess. So let's dive in and uncover the secrets to conquering word problems with confidence. To solve a word problem, we follow the four-step plan. Step 1. Understanding. Step 2. Plan. Step 3. Solve. Step 4. Check and look back. Step 1. Understanding. A. Read and understand the problem. Begin by reading the problem carefully to understand the context and what is being asked. Pay attention to keywords and phrases that indicate mathematical operations or relationships. B. Know what is asked for in the problem. Determine the specific question. What is it asking you to find or solve for? C. Find the necessary information. This could include numerical values, measurements, quantities, or any other relevant data. Step 2. Plan. A. Decide how are you going to solve the problem. Determine the operations to be used. B. Write the number sentence. Express the information given in the problem as mathematical equations. Step 3. Solve. This is where you solve the equation or the number sentence you came up with in Step 2. Use appropriate mathematical techniques to solve the equations and find the solution to the problem. Step 4. Check and look back. Double check your work. See if you have performed the operations correctly and you got a reasonable answer. Let's try some examples. A classroom is 16 meters long. How many centimeters is that? Step 1. Understanding. A. What is asked? The number of centimeters. B. The given facts. 16 meters long. Step 2. Plan. A. What operations to be used? Multiplication. B. Write the number sentence. Remember, to convert meter to centimeter, multiply the number of meters by 100. 16 times 100 equal n where the letter N is the number in centimeters.
Step 3. Solve. 16 times 100 equals 1,600. Step 4. Check and look back. Double check your work. See if you have performed the operations correctly and you got a reasonable answer. If your answer does check out, make sure that you write your final answer with the correct labeling. The classroom is 1,600 centimeters long. A bottle holds 250 milliliters of lotion. How much lotion are there in 10 bottles? Step 1. Understanding. A. What is asked? How much of lotion are there in 10 bottles? B. The given facts. 250 milliliters lotion and 10 bottles. Step 2. Plan. A. What operations to be used? Multiplication. B. Write the number sentence. 250 times 10 equals N. Where letter N correspond to the total capacity of 10 bottles. Step 3. Solve. 250 times 10 equals 2,500. Step 4. Check and look back. Double check your work. See if you have performed the operations correctly and you got a reasonable answer. If your answer does check out, make sure that you write your final answer with the correct labeling. There are 2,500 milliliters lotion in 10 bottles. Activity 1. Read each problem carefully. Analyze each problem then answer the questions below. Use an extra sheet of paper to show your solution. 1. Riza has 250 kilograms of flour in his shop which she wants to sell. She sold 143 kilograms of flour yesterday. How much flour is left that she needs to be sold now in grams? Two, Berto is 120 centimeters tall. His sister is 30 centimeters shorter. What is the height of his sister? Three, Lita bought 300 milliliters of vegetable oil, 450 milliliters of coconut oil, and two liters of olive oil. What is the total quantity of the three oils together? 4. A drum can hold 12 liters of water. How much water is left in the drum if 2 liters and 800 milliliters of water is used? 2. Match column A and column B with the correct answer that corresponds to the problem. Activity 3. Read and analyze the problem. Choose the correct letter of your answer. Write your answer on your notebook. Maria consumed 15 liters of water in two days and 27 liters of water in the rest of the days of the week. How much water was consumed in a week by her?